Good evening, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today, we received the VR7500 made by Ampex. And, of course, I've got it out of its wooden case. It's nighttime right now. It's almost 6 o'clock in the evening. I just wanted to show you my first restoration part of this machine since I've got it up on the table. Uh, anyways... Of course, I was double checking this machine prior to the first machine, and of course, I was right. All the capacitors are leaking and dried out, just like the other machine. If you ever find one of these machines, my personal advice do not plug them in. If you do, you're going to burn them up. As suspected, and thank God I didn't plug it in, I didn't uh, plug this unit in at all. I just look through it to make sure the video heads were good and put the new uh the new spindle in there for the video heads to make contact replace the upper video head problem but now we got the the wooden case you know taken off and this thing has many 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 capacitor issues just like the other machine screw this crap this is going to be restored. I am not fucking around with an old machine. I am sick of this old crap. All I get is old crap that's been sitting for decades that nobody's even used, and I have to constantly do all the repairs on this stuff. It just gets really aggravating. Can't I ever get any luck to find a machine that you could just plug in that it works? <laughs> not, not, not on my watch. But anyways, it gets a little irritating after a while, and you have to do all this work just to do a video recovery. But this is what I do. You know, I do obsolete video recovery, and I put a lot of time, a lot of work into this stuff. This is not easy work by any stretch of the imagination. But anyways, we got it up on the table. This machine needs a few things. It does have good video heads. Um, it, it's got, got a good spindle for the video heads. That's all working. Thank you, God. The video head for this machine is not a match to the ones that were given to me. Uh, those are for a VPR1, which is a one-inch machine. Very similar head, but could be configured to be you know, usable on this machine. But I'm glad I didn't have to do it. This one has the exact original video head on it. Looks like it's got very low hours. But anyways, like I said, folks, this thing has to be completely recapped like the first machine. As always, everything I get my hands on, I got to freaking take it apart and redo it. So I'm going to have to put all brand new caps, make a list. But just want to show you guys something real quick. The power supply I showed you in a previous video, it is now in. See? With the new caps. So here's the... Here's the power supply I pulled out of it, of course. This one has leaky caps, of course, with the resistor. This thing, look how, look how bad and dirty this thing is. If I would have powered this unit up, I will guarantee you this thing would have started smoking like a sieve. Thank God I didn't. But anyways, we already got the power supply all completely reconfigured and trans, uh, changed over for new. Uh, so I think it's going to uh, do a wonderful job. All we got to do is do board by board. See, it pops right in. It slides in on a little card. It's very simple to install. Look at that. Popped in a new one that I took off the other machine that I rebuilt, and now it's in place. So anyways, guys, I, I think a, a recap job is going to do wonders on this machine. All new capacitors. Then once the capacitors are in, this thing will power up. I can make some settings on the boards. And it basically, it's going to be a brand new machine virtually. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.